Hello everyone. The new electricity ministry is said to be moving into the Minister of Energy Gwedemantasha's territory and a conflict has begun in the corridors of the ANC headquarters. A cold war between Energy Minister Mantasha and President Cyril Ramaphosa is emerging over control of ESCOM. And according to Mail and Garden, Mantasha gave Ramaphosa an ultimatum to fire him after the president made known his plans to take some powers from the energy ministry and transfer them to newly appointed electricity minister Jose Enzo Ramahuba. Apparently, Mantasha has acted as the pit bull in Ramaphosa's corner, protecting him when he faced an onslaught in the ANC's National Executive Committee over the Palapala scandal. Mandasha said to have used his position as the party's chairperson to subdue ANC leaders who were calling for Ramaphosa's head. A fallout between the duo over the electricity ministry could jeopardize their alliance in the ANC going into the next year's elections. The sources told the publication that the move by Ramaphosa is in response to the pressure from party members and investors from him to move Mandasha away from the mineral resources and energy. Mandasha has been accused of not expediting the move to renewable energy and being a proponent of the continued use and development of coal-generated power. In January, while addressing the ANC's Free State Elective Conference, Mandasha said there was a calculated plan to make sure that the Energy Department was removed from his custodianship. He complained that there had been international discussions about splitting the department into two entities, one which will handle the mineral resources and one overseeing energy. Within the governing party, there is a dispute that says energy and mining must be split. Mandasha said they will split energy from any department of mineral resources and energy. Then they say are taking ESCOM to energy in terms of the resolution from the conference of the ANC. However, this is the first time the plans have come to light. The clash between the two ANC leaders is said to have come after Ramaphosa about weeks ago detailing the systematic and structural rot at ESCOM. Ramaphosa is said to have told the president the challenges at ESCOM were also policy driven. Ramaphosa had raised concerns over his limited powers to fix the ailing power utility. The presidential spokesperson Vincent Makwenye said that the issue of powers for the Minister of Electricity is still being processed. According to Mail and Garden, Ramaphosa sent a letter to Mandasha and Godan telling them that he will be removing certain powers from two ministries to hand over to Ramahupa. The sources also said the changes will strip Mantashe of his ability to make his decisions on energy-related matters and shrink his department to focus on mining. Mantashe had no problem with Jose and so before this because he was under the impression that DMRE would stay intact. Taking the whole of energy out of DMRE strips, the department of a large chunk of its work. All hell is bound to break loose. Another top ANC leader said Mantashe was furious enough to maintain his dissatisfaction during a meeting with the former president Tabon Peggy. Mantasha said he was a minor by profession with better things to do if people did not value his role after he had put his head on the block for them. Mantasha was also sidelined at the annual South Africa Investment Summit because he was removed from the panel. What's your take on this one people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.